Hey everybody, how are you doing? Hope you're enjoying the Blog Talk Expo. I want to talk to you about monetizing your blog. So, a lot of you probably know the easiest way to do it is obviously through a contextual product like Google AdSense. And while these are very easy to use, um, a lot of times they're not the most profitable for your site. For instance, um, a lot of times, well, there's there's several reasons actually why you wouldn't want to use Google AdSense on your blog. It's first I'll cover kind of the positives of Google AdSense. One, it's it's super easy to implement. Um, usually takes less than five minutes, and you're up and running. Two, they they really make it very easy for advertisers to find you. Um, three, you just collect your check at the end of the day. Um, what are some of the downsides to Google AdSense? Well, obviously, you really don't have any sort of editorial control over what ads are being placed on your site. You kind of give up that control to Google. And while you can do some you know, negative domain targeting and things like that through your panel inside AdSense, you can't really block people that are trying to geo-target. I mean, somebody, some part of the world could be seeing something that you'll never see. And that's, it really just, it limits your ability to control what ads are on your site. I heard, I've heard many times Google engineers say that for the most part, you know, what, what is on your website is actually a portrayal of, of you and your, your site. Kind of like, like when you go in someone's house, what you see on the walls is, is kind of speaks volumes about them and their, their personality and, their, and themselves. So <clears throat> you want to be careful with what you associate, associate yourself with and what kind of controls you give up. So enter, at that point, enter in affiliate marketing. Um, if you have a niche site or blog, affiliate marketing is probably the best answer. Um, you know, there's really, if you go to like Commission Junction or ClickBooth or um, Azugal Ads, there's, you know, there's something for everyone. If you're in the mobile industry, <clears throat> you know, you can, you can generally get a much, much higher payout in fact, a lot of times if you will just run AdSense on your blog on these niche targeted sites, you'll find that a lot of the people that are advertising through AdSense on your site are just sending it to affiliate offers. So you can kind of use AdSense in a tool in that way to actually follow the money and then you know make a direct connection with that affiliate company and then offer those things. So for example, if you have a site about, well, I'll give you a really good example. Um, this one just dawned on me yesterday as I was noticing that American Express offers a 5% cash back bonus um, when you spend it through Yahoo Search Marketing. Well, that would be a good blog post that a lot of people who are doing pay-per-click stuff would be interested in, right? So in that post, you could, one, get paid by referring people to American Express. I think it's like $50 to $100 per credit card, uh, per completed credit card thing. Uh, after approval through and that I believe is through I'm not sure but there's like seven different affiliate companies that have American Express deals just search around you'll find it um, if not email me and, and I'll find it I think it was like I think the link goes through click synergy so I'm not sure exactly who that is anyway regardless so Yahoo search marketing also has an affiliate program so you can basically make a post about how you know about pay-per-click about how somebody could you know market with Yahoo search marketing and if they sign up through there you get you know thirty to sixty dollars and if they sign up for an American Express card you get X amount there you're doing the person reading your site of service because you're informing about something I mean five percent off of your ROI you know is, is, is a huge advantage um, then you're also you're also being very well compensated for doing that so it's just a small example uh, with affiliate marketing I don't think you should ever um, routinely make posts with affiliate marketing in mind. Uh, when needed, you can insert affiliate links, but if you do it all the time, you'll lose trust with your readers. And you know the market will pretty much settle itself out. So um, if you see like a big drop off in your site traffic and stuff like that, then you might want to chill out a little bit with affiliate marketing. Um, other ways, you can monetize your blog through donations. Um, these are You see these all the times where people are like, buy me a cup of coffee, buy me a cup of tea, things like that. Um, 
You'd be amazed at how many people will donate. I kind of almost do that with my free shirt, free T-shirt Friday, where I just have people send me free shirts. It's kind of like my way of getting free donations. Subscription revenue is something that can apply to a blog if you have a, an ongoing thing. It's more integrated with forums and communities and stuff like that. But if you have uh, premium services, you want to offer special, offer special icons or avatars. Um, I have seen it done, and it does work on some blogs. Well, I hope you enjoy the conference. Thank you for having me on Blog on Expo.